Invis is everything braces isn't. Eating the foods you love, life uninterrupted. Invisalign. We're back at Levi Stadium with this week's DGDG.com feature athlete. Allie Williams joins us now with the story of a weightlifter performing on the world stage. Robert, weightlifting is a sport you don't hear about every day, but the precision, effort, and excitement is something Haley Tran hopes to share with us all. Hard work does pay off. You have to trust the process and eventually everything will come together. Haley Tran is a junior at Lincoln High in San Francisco and an up and coming star in the weightlifting world. She holds multiple American records already. She was introduced to weightlifting by her friend Julia. So I met Haley through volleyball. Uh, we played on the same club team um, and I had just started weightlifting like competitively. I didn't even know that weightlifting was a sport, like Olympic weightlifting. I was like, oh, like benching. And then when I saw these videos of her doing snatches and clean and jerks, I was like, what, what is that? And it was cool. Julia is also a top ranked weightlifter and the girls have trained together for years. I've been to Youth World and Youth Pan Ams. Uh, and Haley and I went to this meet in Peru in 2017. That trip to Peru was huge for Haley. It took her from having fun to setting records. When she got a chance to go to Peru, and we're like, we were all over it. When her and Julia got a chance to go to Peru, it changed. It was super fun. Um, all of us meddled. She got to set American records in Peru. And then I think she set it again, like a week later in Anaheim before the World Championships. It was insane. It was, it was nice. That's when I started to love the sport even more. Haley set American records in the snatch and clean and jerk in what was then the 13 and under 53 kilogram weight class. Then, two years later, she set the American record for the snatch in the 14 to 15 year old 59 kilogram class. She used to train with Julia and other members of her team daily before COVID shut everything down. Now, training has been limited to primarily individual workouts, stifling the energy that would help push them through their sets. There's a good vibe with both of them. Um, it, it, it's missing for the last seven months. It's a, it's a little, it's a little bit heartbreaking because COVID's been tough when you don't see your friends. They're social creatures, you know? I can't train with other people or like I can, but the same community is not there and I have to train through Zoom sometimes and it's totally different. It's not the same. Um, cause having your coach not physically there, it kind of affects you. Haley trains at Coach Kevin's house a couple times per month, but the majority of their training is through Zoom and video updates. The sudden shift was tough, but something that Haley was able to handle. So the one good thing about COVID is you see who's very self-motivated. Because at some point, if you're trying to get to the highest level of any sport, you got to do stuff on your own. She, that is what makes her different than most other people, is that she has that intrinsic inner discipline to do something for herself, by herself, in her garage. I have to remember why I started, and I can't just stop the journey right now just because of one little obstacle. Haley is currently training for the National Youth Championships, where she will compete in the under-17, 64-kilogram weight class. She doesn't win every meet, but she's, win she's top three in every meet ever that we've ever gone to in her age group. And the one thing about Youth Worlds not happening this year in Youth Pan Am, she would have been top three. Haley continues to build a name for herself in the weightlifting world. There are plenty of goals on the horizon, competitions, more records, and even the Olympics but she'll move forward with the clear mentality of one kilo at a time. It's, it's, it's like a math problem. You're trying to get one kilo better, right? So right now, the American record in her weight class is a standard, nobody's ever met it. It's 108 kilos in the clean and jerk. And the standard happens to be, you know, 44 kilos over her body weight. So you're talking about 180% of body weight clean and jerk for a 17 year old girl. 
but you tell me she has 15 months to get five kilos better, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bet on her every single time. Haley plans to keep weightlifting for years to come, but weightlifting options are limited after high school. A lot of colleges, they don't offer weightlifting, like scholarships, so we'll see. Do you think that more colleges should? Yes, it's an amazing sport. I don't think a lot of people know about it because of how hard and technical it is, so it doesn't get um, more attention it deserves. It's given me like a new view of things, like motivation-wise and like, how do I keep myself motivated through these tough times? The future is always uncertain, but Haley keeps the mindset of one step and one kilo at a time. As she's already proven time and time again, Haley will find a way. That one kilo at a time mentality is something that helps Haley keep pushing forward. And it was great to listen to Haley and Coach Kevin break down the mindset so simply during my time with them. So she's this tough weightlifter person. So does that mean like in person she was really mean and stuff? <laughs> oh, always. No, the exact opposite of, you know, that tough mentality. It's great to be able to see the difference between turning it on once you get at the weights. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, Very nice, cool. friendly person. <laughs> yes. All right. Thanks, Alex.